Hello my beautiful people and welcome to my channel. In this space I'm going to be sharing with you monthly general tarot readings as well as my TikTok lives and I'll also be sharing with you essential oil education and excitingly my podcast interviews for my podcast. I'm Kitty O'Brien and thank you so much for joining me here. So for the best free online tarot readings and for the most accurate tarot readings hit that little bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video and the subscribe button. Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. I'm Kitty O'Brien, and thank you so much for joining me. Um, on my little channel, you will find the best, most accurate tarot readings, and today I'm gonna to be doing a general reading for the, um, for Scorpio, which is the sign of water, element of water, excuse me, element of water. So I'm gonna be doing my spread of about 12 to 14 cards, and then, really excitingly, so make sure you watch to the end, we can have some plant magic, okay, with my essential oil um, oracle deck, so we can see what plants can support us through our journey this month. So, uh, <laughs> first card, oh my goodness, it's the lovely hermit, so this is all about looking inward, taking a step back from things as well, retreating, um, Deliberate isolation. Okay. Oh, wow, one of my favourite cards, the fall. Right, I'm just going to let a few more cards fall before I start um, babbling on. Oh my goodness. Actually, that. Okay. Oh my goodness! Do you know what? It's really funny. Some cards <laughs> making a repeat, um, repeatedly keep coming up today. I've had oh, this month of October, isn't it? So of course, um, similar messages are going to come up for different um, different readings. I have to move my Tesco bargain. Okay, I'm just gonna. That is like an amazing um, buy. That was eight quid from Tesco. Um, I really wanted one because my tea goes stone cold when I do my readings. Oh, one more card, one more card. We've got the moon, people. We've got celebrations coming in. We have got celebrations coming in. Oh, yes. So I've also got my lovely witch's book here, which is part of the witch's tarot deck. Phenomenal deck. And they might, I'm tempted to pull or to read from the book for this card here. But anyway, right, my cat has also joined us, if you can hear him in the background. First card we get is the Hermit, so we've had to take a step back from things. We've had to take a step back, we've had to look inward, and we've really had to go, right, what do I want to do? How do I feel about this situation? And just sit with ourselves. Um, the Hermit is all about... Um, and of finding that inner wisdom that we all have within us and really tuning into that internal compass. Now, what's coming up as an obstacle is that you do not realise you can have anything you want with the fool. The fool is about a brand new start, brand new future. And I can see you want something new coming in with the page of wands. This card is your desires card. And you want a new adventure. You want to just go, right, you know what? I've had enough. I'm going to go off and have my new adventure. And by the way, whatever comes up in this reading, it might come up in three to six months' time, it could come up this month, or it could continue for a couple of months after the month of October, okay? So it's not going to just stop when October finishes. So the Page of Wands is all about wanting a, a new adventure, turning over a new leaf, um, starting something fresh, starting something new, right? And But that's, cut, that's what you want, but it's not happening just yet because you haven't recognised that. You are literally in full control of your life. There's some things that happen in our life that we can't control, but most of the time we can direct our life where we want it to go. We really, really can. And, you know, we can do that through different techniques. Um, my hands are going really warm, so I feel like you need some healing right now, actually. Um, so, yeah, we, you can do that through, like, the laws of the universe, like manifesting things in, the law of attraction, you know, um, 
you know, there's just so many different ways we can start making our dreams come true. So the fool is all about, again, starting on a brand new adventure. You can see he's got that little bag on his back that represents the past. So he's not living from the past. It's not in front of him. He's living from the possibilities of a future, a new future. But um, he's got his past there as a reminder of where he's been and how far he's come. You've also got the white rose and the white dog. Okay, and also the sun. The sun is beautiful. The sun is the, the most cheerful card in the whole deck. Like, the sun is, like, the happiest card. So, and it's coming up as a slight obstacle because you've... I feel like you've got too much going on. With the past, I can see that, actually. Again, we've got the Ten of Wands. Um, this has been coming up in a couple of readings. But you bog down. You've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. You can't see where you're going. You've got too many responsibilities. Maybe you'll feel obliged to too many people. Because we all come from that people-pleasing mode. Where we feel like we have to literally give and give and give. And we've got nothing back for us. So it's like you can see it's blocked. It's like I can't, I can't see my way forward. It's like very tunnel -y vision. But when you step back, okay, which is what you've done. See the situation from a different perspective and go on, actually, I need to step back from this now. I need to do some inner work. So this will happen. This card just wants to be noticed. That's why he's at a cross. Um, but you've, de you've definitely got new stuff coming in. I mean, definitely. We've also got the Ace of Swords. Ace is, again, new things coming in. Um, I've used these cards so much, they're starting to deteriorate. <laughs> I can see bits of the card falling off at the back. Um, they are my, my cherished deck. And they are Radiant Wise Tarot, if anybody wants to know. Beautiful deck. Anyway, off topic. Ace of Swords. Ace is new beginnings. It's divine, divinely timed as well. Swords pointing upwards towards truth and clarity. Sword is also the element of air, so it's about our thought patterns and our thought processes, okay? So, and also swords cut away things that no longer serve us. So that's really coming in. So you can, like, change your mindset, change your thought patterns. I tell you what, I watched Lisa Nichols this morning. I felt really down in the dumps this morning. I really struggled. I've got caught at the end of the month and I've struggled with that. And I popped on Lisa Nichols. I, the universe was just like Lisa Nichols. So I opened YouTube on my phone and the first video that comes up was her. It was a little short. And then I watched the full thing and she was saying like, you know, put positive affirmations around the house. Put stuff on your back of your front door so when you go out, you remind yourself, I'm ready for the world and the world is ready for me. Like, I am worthy, I am enough, I am loved. And just things to remind you that, you know, this is whatever we're going through, no matter, no matter what our circumstances are, this is not forever. This is a phase, okay? And we... We've just got to keep on track when we're going through these phases, if they're a little bit tough. Because, like, coming out the other side, we can so have the life we want. It's so possible. It is so possible. And, like, you know, I'm a testimony to that. I've led domestic violence and case of control, and my life has never been so blessed, you know. So, like, it can happen, but we've just got to remind ourselves, like, this is a phase, it will pass. So, and you really have to change your mindset because it's so easy to get sucked down and stay doomy and gloomy. But changing that mindset does everything. And again, like, I can see you're a bit lost sometimes. You're like, I've got the world in my hands and you're like, right. I've got the world in my hands. Um, no. What do I do now? <laughs> Where do I go? What do I do? I want a new adventure, but how? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so you're standing there and you're not quite sure what, like how to move forward um oh yes i sometimes just want to jump to the end and like because it's really exciting but i'm like no there's a process <laughs> um three of cups there's something to celebrate here either that's a baby shower um, a baby a pregnancy um, a new business um Goodness sake, like anything. There's there's so much. There's so much you could um new car, new home, new job. Like it's the it's the things in life to celebrate. And you're celebrating with somebody, okay? There's other people around you're supported. So the Three of Cups is a really beautiful card. And it, it signifies like people are celebrating with you. 
So, and, the, and anything in your life worth celebrating, it could be that you got out of bed this morning, it could be that you went out the house and you walked the dog, I mean, I don't, like, it doesn't necessarily need to be the big celebration, it's like, whatever, however it fits in with you and where you are at this point in time, okay? So you're not sure where to go with your life, but you're still celebrating the little wins, okay? These two cards represent you. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, to have as your hopes and your fears, is an interesting card. Um, the Queen of Pentacles really represents financial stability and abundance. She's very much similar to the Empress card. Red cloak on her that um, represents passion and desire. The green one is like fertility and abundance. The roses growing around the edge represents that, um, like, the changes are long term. Bunny down here in the corner also represents fertility and abundance. And coins. Coins represent people, places and things and money in tarot. So there's, there's a lot in this card. You get the hint of the water in the background, which is a hint of the subconscious mind and the conscious. Okay, Water in tarot represents subconscious and um, where our conditioning takes place. And how we actually manifest stuff into our life is through the subconscious mind. And the conscious mind... Um, it's like the logical mind, subconscious is the emotional. Yeah, I've un studied a lot about it, so I could talk about it forever. Um, so this is your hopes and your fears. It's like you want to have this dream life. You want to have abundance. You want to have financial st stability. You want to be loved. You want to be blessed. You want abundance to be in all areas of your life, like 360 degrees, wealth, health, happiness, all of the shebang. But it's like, you. I feel like there's this, am I worthy of it? You know, I really, really want this magical dream life, but oh, it won't ever happen to me. Do you know, it's the it's the yin yangy, and this is why we really need to change our mindset, because if you don't believe you're worthy of it, you're not going to receive it. Now, the four of pentacles, you're holding on to a lot. And this is representing your future cards. These, um, So we've got the moon, we've got the three of wands, and the ace of cups, and the four of pentacles, representing your future cards. Now, the four of cups... That four of pentacles, excuse me, like you're, like you're going to be holding on to stuff. I feel like stuff's going to come in and you're going to be like, I'm not letting go of this. <laughs> like, and this could be something that could be inspiring to you. Um, it could be like, I mean, I'm a massive Lisa Nichols fan. I'm never going to let that woman go. Like, I love her stuff. I always watch her stuff. Like Caroline Saunderson, the um, hairdresser from Scotland, most phenomenal inspirational story. And like, there's some things in my life, Bob Proctor, <laughs> I could go on forever. I will, I will always have them in my life. Like they are so, they are literally on my mind, in my heart, and they ground me. Like this morning when I felt rubbish, um, like Lisa Nichols just like, I've been thinking about the stuff she's been saying all day. I'm like holding it in my heart and believing. And I'm like, I feel so much more grounded. So there's like stuff that, you know, is worth holding on to. Equally, we hold on to stuff that is, is not good. We hold on to toxic negative beliefs. We hold on to toxic thought patterns, um, pro thought processes, negative behaviours as well. We might have some really horrible habits that we know that's not good for us, but we still hold on to it. Um, I'm just going to take a sip of my drink. I forgot that was a little bit hotter than I thought. I'm like, oh, singed my tongue. Um, <laughs> it's the only problem with not sipping something out of a cup. It does stay hot for long in there. Um, the moon, the moon, the moon, the moon. The moon is the divine feminine. And this card is a really wonderful card representing balance and harmony as well. We've got the two faces of the moon. Like, we never see the two faces of the moon. We only ever see the one. So this card's got two, the two faces. We've got the two pillars. Again, balance and harmony. We've got the wolf and the dog, okay? And then we've got the clawfish coming out. So we've got the water and the land. So subconscious and conscious mind. Um, the wolf is the internal instinct, and I can't quite remember what the dog was, so please excuse me. But we've got the clawfish coming out of the subconscious mind is really important in this card, because that means things are going to come forward from your subconscious. And now what is that? So the subconscious, 90% of our brain power, our conscious mind is only 10%. Um, our subconscious is responsible for all of our, like, vital functions of our body. It's phenomenal, okay? Like, it's responsible for our cells regenerating, the nervous system, our the heartbeat, our breathing, everything. It is our life force, okay? Keeps the, you know, 
it keeps the heart beating, like everything, everything, everything. And um, so when we sleep at night, it's in full, full whack. It's, it's like really working like when we sleep because the conscious mind isn't getting in the way. So that's when we recharge, we, um, and actually they say like, we need to sleep for our body to rest. Our body never rests. Uh, you know, our body never rests. It never stops growing, never stops healing, and never stops like, our organs are always going. And actually we've got enough, we've got the same amount, sometimes if more adrenaline going through our body when we're sleeping at night than when we're awake. Um, but the subconscious mind is really important, really, really important. And it's to do with the growing the brain cells and the, the neural pathways and all of that. And when we convince our subconscious mind something is true, it will bring it into our reality. So whatever we're feeling and thinking, we will bring to our reality. And our body is the vibration, okay? It's different frequencies it's vibrating at, and that's how we attract things in, by matching the frequency of something we want. Um, I have written a whole book on this, so if you want to read it, I really encourage you to. It will help, the, I mean, this is talking at full speed about the subconscious and the conscious mind. So our subconscious stores so much and it's also the link to the divine, okay? So when, so our, our second brain is a massive cluster of cells behind our stomach. And so whenever we, we get that gut feeling, you know, whenever we start sensing something, it's always with our stomach. So that message that we're getting, that gut feeling is from the divine, okay, it's from the universe, it's from our spirit guardians, everybody, and it comes in through our gut feeling, and then the body responds, and the brain goes, oh, I've got a gut feeling about this, so this really represents something, like receiving messages from the divine and acting on it, because the universe could hand you a silver plate of everything that you want, and go, here you go, but if you don't take that and go, right, I'm going to do something with this, it doesn't mean anything, like, you need to act on it, so you could be given an amazing, oh, Rosie, don't you call my new carpet? Yes, my cat. <laughs> so you could be given a phenomenal opportunity, but unless you go for that job interview, it's, you know, you have to go and actually action it. So the clawfish coming forward is that something is in the pipeline at the moment and it's remain at the moment it's hidden. It's not coming to your awareness, but it is going to come into your awareness. So pay attention to what your body is saying to you and that gut feeling, okay? And then travel is quite literally on the cards now this could be a christmas vocation away it could be anything but the three of wands represents traveling abroad so if you're thinking about traveling abroad well new adventure it could just be a little little breakaway it doesn't even need to be leaving the country it just could be going i don't know to a spa or a hotel or something but there's definitely travel on the card then ones represents your passion and your desires so whatever like makes you feel happy but also it can represent careers so it could be that you might need to travel somewhere for an interview or something like that and then it's like hallelujah because we've got the ace of cups and you're going to really start filling your cup up right now you're going to feel a bit depleted and stuff and you're like oh my god what's going on even though you've stepped back and you've taken a break from th some things, it's like you might still feel like, you know, you need a little bit more time. Well, Ace of Cups, phenomenal card. The divine coming in, filling your cup up, and whatever spills over is for everyone else. So make sure your cup is full before you serve anyone. And that is where you want to be. That's the whole reason why you got the hermit. This is like, you know, Nirvana. This is like the place that, this is like ascension, <laughs> being able to have healthy boundaries and have a full cup and then serving everybody with what flows out of the cup. Um, and that that is just, that's what we want. Now what we also want is some beautiful plant magic, okay? And I have to read you the message from inside the box. All the answers you seek can be found in the dance of nature. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'll never, ever, ever get old. Right. They are tricky to shuffle. If my little camera suddenly topples over, it's because my cat is playing with the wire for my, um, my ring light, which my little phone is attached to. And she's clawing it. Don't you jump on it. I don't want you to get electrocuted. Hang on, I'm getting distracted with my cat now. Okay, let's bring it back. But yeah, if I suddenly go, whoops, sideways, that's my cat. 
and I've got no editing skills <laughs> so you will just see that as part of my video okay oh my goodness I'm gonna pick one off the top because it was having too long of a think mmm now I love these cards because they can show us they really can show us what um, chakras we need to focus on as well. Okay, so we've got blue tansy. Amazing! That came up somewhere else for me earlier on. Um, and I thought, oh, I saw that card today. Let me... Black pepper. Black pepper is actually really good if you've got addiction problems, by the way. Now here we go. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. You must not be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. Third eye chakra, very much the hermit card, the third eye chakra. Understanding intellect, intuition, and applying wisdom to real life. That is the hermit in a nutshell. Planet Uranus, about revolution, uniqueness, innovation, and thinking outside the box. Houses of a house of Aquarius, so humanitarian concerns, community, utopia, originality, and theorizing, and it's the element of water. And being a Scorpio, this is the element of water. Um, so it's all about emotions, feelings, and love. I don't even know if I said this was a Scorpio reading at the beginning. I can't remember. Um, so divine meaning. Um, are you feeling overburdened with too much on your schedule? There are times of peace and relaxation ahead. Stop putting off what feeds your soul um, due to day-to-day -day obligations. Start walking towards your dreams each day. What will be your leg what will your legacy be? Seek counseling from those who are older and wiser. Show your skin some love. Now, breathe me in. Right? So with doTERRA, they are C P. I never say this right. I'm dyslexic, so I always read the bottle. CPTG certified, tested, uh, which means they're perfectly safe. So with doTERRA, you can use them topically, aromatically, or internally. Always read the bottle for internal. Okay. And you can use them in sprays. <clears throat> Excuse me. I went blank there because I've got EDS and also, yeah, had a little fuzzy moment. Sprays. <laughs> I'm like, my brain dead. I love these sprays. They're so lovely. I've mixed um, geranium and all sorts of things in this one. Water and then a lovely, um, lovely spritz. So you can cleanse your aurora, cleanse your space. Um, they're very invigorating and like refreshing and like amazing, especially as we come into the winter months. And um, so yes. Um, you can also use them in a diffuser, is what I wanted to say, or you can put them straight onto your skin. So with the blue tansy, right, you're gracefully creating new space in your life to welcome your dreams into reality. So the practice is place a drop of blue tansy to your nighttime moisturiser and massage across your face, focusing on the third eye chakra, repeating to yourself as you look in the mirror, my intuition guides me along the path to my dreams. That is what the subconscious mind does. It guides you with your intuition, excuse me, with your gut feeling, so you can start attracting in those dreams. Um, Tanzan quartz, Tanzan aurora quartz is the crystal or cellulite. Oh, not cellulite, what am I saying? <laughs> cellulite. <laughs> cellulite is not what we want. Sorry, I've got dyslexia. And the animal guide is swan, okay? Um, Celestialite, C-E-L-E-S-T-I-T-E. -E -E. Oh my goodness. Oh well. So yeah, amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Thank you so much for joining me. If you would like to get notified of when I upload a video, click that little bell button. And if you want, you can subscribe. Thank you so much, my beautiful souls, and I wish you all the best.